Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now there's a new update out for the PS4 that allows you to use remote play on Mac and also PC. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so starting off with the PlayStation side of things, what you want to do is go into the settings and go down to where it says system software update. Now unless your PS4 has updated itself overnight or doing it when it's in sleep mode, then what you're going to find here is the newest software which is available, which is 3.50. Now you can, if you want, go into the view details section of this and see what's new in terms of the new update. And what you're gonna find in here is some remote play features, some new offline features for your status, and some other things which I may go into in another video. And then all you need to do is click on update and then the rest gets done automatically. Now I've sped up this process, but it takes around two to three minutes for everything to get done. Now this will depend on your internet connection because it does have to download the new firmware, but in general, it was actually a very easy process and I didn't have any trouble whatsoever. And once everything's all installed and done, it will then take you back to your PlayStation 4 dashboard. Now once you're on your PC or on your Mac, you want to head to the link that I've put in the description so you can download the Remote Play application. Now do keep in mind that there are some certain software and system requirements that you need to have. So in terms of Windows, you need to have above Windows 8.1 and you can also have Yosemite or El Capitan on the Mac side of things. So you will need to have relatively new hardware to have the newer software. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Once you then go through to actually download the software and everything's downloaded, all you then need to do is double click on the icon or single click on a Mac and then just go through the setup process of the remote play application, which is very simple to do. All you need to enter is your admin password and then the rest is very simple. Back on the PlayStation now and we need to head back into the settings and make sure that we've enabled remote play within the actual settings themselves. So go down to where it says remote play connectivity settings and make sure that you've got that enabled as you can see here. You then want to head into your PlayStation Network Account Management and go down to Activate as your primary PS4. Now what this means is it'll actually control the PlayStation 4, but it will still allow you to have your controller plugged into your PC or Mac to use remote play and play games on those different systems. Now what you want to do is go to the power saving settings and go to where it says set features available in rest mode. Now within this menu you can see here that you want to have your power supply to USB ports on, stay connected to the internet turned on and I would just pretty much turn everything on here as well as it just means that background updates and things like that will get done and it just makes things a bit smoother for when you actually want to play it and not have to touch your PlayStation 4 in the process. And for the final part, you want to go back to your Mac or PC and plug in your PlayStation 4 controller using the micro USB cable that either came with your device or a longer one if you want to be sat further away from your PC or Mac. What you then want to do is load up the Remote Play software and go through a very short setup tutorial and then you're pretty much set and ready to go. And as you can see here, you've then got your PlayStation 4 mirrored perfectly fine onto your Mac or PC. Now when you then actually want to go to play a game, it mirrors it pretty much perfect. Now one thing that I would say is there is an option to change the resolution within the settings of the remote play application, as by default it's set at 30 frames a second and 540p, however you can up that to 720p and 60 frames a second, however at the moment there is no 1080p which is a little bit of a disappointment. Now in terms of the actual games themselves, if you're playing more casual games like racing games and things like that, you're probably not going to have too many issues, however if you're playing more Twitch kind of shooters, whether it's Call of Duty, Battlefield or something along those lines, you may see a little bit of lag that may deter from the experience ever so slightly, however it does completely depend on your internet connection, which PlayStation recommends to have at 12 megabytes download. Now not taking into account how badly I'm playing, you can see here that Battlefield 4 runs perfectly fine and I am using the DualShock 4 controller and because it's plugged in, there doesn't really seem to be any lag from the controller side of things, but from what I can tell the only lag that there is would be between the PlayStation 4, the internet and your Mac or PC, so definitely up those internet speeds if you can to get the best out of this. Now I'm not a huge fan of playing games on a Mac because there's not really that much out there, you have to install Windows and things like that, however this is a really awesome feature to have have. Now would I recommend this if you're using a Windows PC that can run games? Well, not necessarily. You're going to have a much better experience playing games through Steam or EA's Origin or just in general whatever game it is that you want to play through the dedicated PC without having to use the remote play feature. But if you do want to play some games and you're not in the lounge, maybe you're in bed or in a separate room in the house, then this is definitely an awesome feature and one that I can definitely recommend trying. And that is going to do it guys. Now I would definitely recommend giving this feature a try if you've got a PlayStation 4 
and a relatively new PC. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Now, if you've got any questions or comments about this video, the PlayStation 4 or Remote Play, then again, hit me up in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs. Glass. Now, for more great content, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to join me on the PlayStation 4, then add me. My username is cab from 1989. And I will catch you guys in the next video.